What's up YouTube, Sky, that one guy here, and today we're gonna go over my eBay auction that is ending today. A uh, little short notice, probably gonna be a lower quality video, but I wanted to capture these cards on video and uh, just kind of bookmark this and look back on it on the future, as I usually do with all my eBay auctions. So we have 100 PSA graded cards, um, maybe 103 or something like that, uh, and they all end later today, maybe like 10 hours from when I post this video, so. Uh, the cards are in no specific order, some low end, some high end, uh, some some bulkier stuff, cheaper slabs, but some really cool stuff. Uh, I'll start off with this uh, Rampart Blaster PSA 9 Ultimate Rare, first edition. Uh, I'm not sure if this is Euro print or not, maybe somebody else can tell me, but uh, kind of looks like it. Uh, and then we have a couple of Ghost Rares, Power Tool Dragon PSA 8. This is one of the few consignment cards in this auction, I'm selling this for a friend. A uh, good friend who runs, um, gosh, I, I'm going to butcher the name, but I think it's Lucky Duck Cards or something like that on uh, TCG Player. I'll, I'll try and remember and link it in the comments or something. But then we have an Ancient Fairy Dragon, Ghost Rare First Edition. Uh, this is a pretty uh, strong six. It has a small indent right there, and that's what got it the six. But other than that, it's pretty clean. I mean, there's a print line, foil scratch there. But outside of that, it's, uh, it's really clean six for sure. I mean, I've seen significantly worse PSA sixes. So, uh, and then we have a SYE Dark Magician PSA 10, super rare from 2004. Uh, a couple of collector rares here, Jack's Knight, Imperial Bower, Queen's Knight, uh, Gate Guardian, this is the uh, Metal Raiders, 25th anniversary PSA 10 and then King's Court Slifer this is the uh, Pharaoh's Rare really hard to capture those cards Th these five cards specifically uh, really hard to capture those on camera so the pictures on the eBay listing might not look that great but hopefully you can uh, see the quality here from this video so uh, we're gonna get into some of the more cheaper slabs now uh, kind of, like I said it's a pretty pretty wide variety um, I did I did grade some uh, some old rares and old commons that I had that I just thought were really cool and they looked clean. Uh, a lot of them got nines, but uh, that's okay. They're pretty pretty cool stuff. So we got the Dark Crisis First Edition Great Maju Garzet Karate Man. Pulled that one myself recently. Cyber Jar. Really iconic card. Really cool card. And uh, most of these rares will probably end pretty pretty cheap in the auction. They don't usually do too well in the auction. So if you're looking for cheap slabs, there's some nice pickups, some good good nostalgia for a very affordable price. Tsukiyomi Dark Crisis First Edition, contract with Exodia. I, I didn't get like any tens on these uh, rares and commons. I was a little disappointed. Most of them were pack fresh, but there are some centering issues. I think Bottomless was one of the few PSA tens I did get. And uh, that's really good PSA 10 to get, though, if you're going to get any of them. That's the first printing of Bottomless Trap Hole. And uh, Monster Reborn from uh, Structure Deck Yugi, first edition. So the original, very first Structure Deck 2002 Monster Reborn. Pretty cool, pretty nostalgic. Um, let's see, this stack's got a pretty good card up on top. This is uh, uh, Black Luster Soldier Envoy, the beginning from Master Collection 2. Pretty hard card to uh, create in PSA 10. I've, I've tried a few times. This is the first time I've gotten a 10 on it. Mo I usually get 8s and 9s because uh, just, just how it's packaged in the in the Master Collection. Here's another one that's really hard to grade and uh, really hard to find in Mint, Gem Mint 10. Black Rose Dragon. I know the uh, sealed 10 for the Black Rose uh, that this comes from is like, I don't know, just estimating like $750, 1000 bucks, something like that. So uh, to get the PSA 10 on that was really exciting. We've got some special edition promos here, some old ones, 2005 Invader of Darkness, PSA 10, Into Anubis, PSA 10, from the Lost Millennium Special Edition, Ultimate Insect Level 7, PSA 10, this one's really cool, Baby Dragon, uh, started at Joey, 2003, so, uh, I, that could have been Baby Dragon's first printing, maybe it was, was it in Metal Raiders or something, I don't remember, one of the, one of its earliest printings in first edition. Uh, here's a Lord of D. This is like a wavy print or something. I'm, I'm not sure. Looks really nice, though. 
I'm not I'm not extremely versed on all that. I don't know if that's like a 1.5 print or, or what the verbiage is there, but really cool cards. Same with the Flute of Summoning Dragon. Definitely has that vintage nostalgic look on the 2002 Flute of Summoning Dragon Super Rare. Uh, Sorcerer of Dark Magic movie promo, movie pack promo from the original movie packs. Big Burn. This is a uh, first edition Invasion of Chaos. This is one of those cards that a lot of people, you know, including myself, uh, didn't realize it was a super rare or, or you kind of forget, but uh, it is a super rare. It's a really nice one, too, from Invasion of Chaos, one of the one of the better uh, LOB to AST sets, in my opinion. Then we have Morphing Jar number two. This is the PSA 10 Pharaoh Servant. That was a really nice 10 to get. Uh, 25th Anniversary Call of the Haunted Ultra Rare. Got some Speed Duel stuff here. Red Eyes Black Dragon. Uh, Dark Magician Girl, this is the original 2020, so this got reprinted, I think it was in 2021 or something like that, maybe 2022, uh, but this is the original PSA 9, and it was uh, straight out of the Lost Art promo, I opened the promo myself, uh, then we've got uh, the, the Red Arcana, I think it is, Dark Magician, PSA 9, Percentatrix Lost Art, Gemini Elf Lost Art, Dark Magician Girl Speed Duel, she looks really good in uh, in the Speed Duel Secret Rare. Then this is the 10 promo Dark Magician Girl. 10 of the Pharaoh Gods. Really like that artwork. That's the only time we've gotten that artwork so far in the TCG. Uh, King of the Swamp. Exodia the Forbidden One. This is the 25th uh, TN23 promo. And Blue Eyes Toon Dragon from Starter Deck Pegasus. PSA 9 First Edition. Gonna, I'm going to run out of tape, uh, space on the table really fast, so kind of just shoving some of these in the background. I'm on a smaller table today, a little bit of an awkward recording space, just trying to get this video recorded and posted. Gemini Elf, this is the Invasion of Chaos Special Edition promo. Griffin Wing, Starter Deck Pegasus, Red Dragon Archfiend. This one was really clean. I thought it had a chance, but it is a little off-centered, so maybe that's what it what did it in from getting the PSA 10. Um, Penguin Soldier, Red Eyes, Black Dragon. This is a 7. I thought this was a pretty strong 7, but a beautiful card. SDJ, Starter Deck Joey, and it matches with the Scapegoat from the same Starter Deck as well. Uh, Lord of D. Again, older print. My camera's not really capturing this too well. I've got a little bit of glare going on. I, I tried to fix it, but... uh. I don't have the usual setup that I, I normally have, so Rope of Life, Big Core. I'm a big fan of machines, so that one's kind of nostalgic to me. Uh, this is the Winged Dragon of Raw Alternate Art. Really cool card. And uh, it's just a 9, so you don't have to pay the crazy PSA 10 premium, but still a really good display piece there. Uh, Barrel Dragon, this is the Value Book 5 promo from 2002. I think we've got two or three of these in here, the different rarities. We've got a reverse secret coming up. Uh, there is some OCG stuff in here. I thought this stuff looked really cool. Uh, this is 2002, so this is as old as LOB First Ed. I mean, this stuff is old, so. Toon Cannon Soldier, and then Toon Gemini Elf. Really like these uh, Japanese cards. I think they look really nice. This is uh, the Japanese version of Starter Deck Pegasus. They got some really cool holo tune cards they got i mean their starter decks were stacked back then multiple hollows good looking hollows uh this is the exr starter box this is from 2000 so this is older than any card in english Yu-Gi-Oh, and uh it's psa 10 so it's from one of the original starter decks in japan really cool um then we got the blue eyes tune from starter deck pegasus uh dark balter this is a really old cert this was at my uh this was in my Troll and Toad account for a few years, and I kind of just forgot about it. Finally got it returned, so figured we'd send it to auction. Um, then we have a PSA 9 First Edition Dark Magician from SYE. End of Anubis, Lost Millennium promo. Triblaze, this is a really nice one. I pulled this one myself. Triblaze Accelerator, just uh, I opened like one or two Force of Breaker packs and pulled that, got pretty lucky. I also opened this one as well, the Lost Millennium Nitro Unit. Again, just opened a few random packs I had lying around just for fun with friends and pulled those two. Those were pretty good pulls and they both hit 10s. I was really excited about that. Um, some really cool old starter deck stuff. Fury from the Deep. 
Neo Daedalus and uh, Ring of Destruction. I think there's another starter deck card in a second. Special Edition Lava Golem. This is the Invasion of Chaos Special Edition, back when they used to do Special Editions. Here's the other structure deck card I was talking about, Infernal Flame Emperor. This one's really nostalgic for me. I really like this card. I opened the structure deck back in 2005. So, really cool. Spell Shield Type 8 from Magician's Force, first edition. I'm going to put that on top just because it looks a little bit cooler. And we're probably uh, a little bit past halfway. Most of the most of the good stuff was honestly in those piles, but there's still a couple cool cards in here. Uh, Kaiser Seahorse from the 2004 starter deck. Black Luster Ritual. This is a PSA 10, the original uh, Yugi Evolution Super Rare. This is a Dark Magician. It's like right on the borderline of being faded. It's not quite faded, but it, it's pretty close. I mean, some people would probably call it faded. I'm not really sure, but... It looks really nice, and it's a pretty strong 8, so. Drill Warrior, Absolute Power Force, 1st Edition. I know that set's really hard to find in 1st Edition. Uh, clean cards, and this is a pretty nostalgic Synchro, one of the earliest ones. Pyramid Turtle. Mango Ryu Realm. More Tune cards for Magic Ruler. Final Countdown. I pulled this one myself. I thought it'd do better than an 8, but still really cool here's the other barrel dragon i was talking about this is the reverse hollow so the lines are going up and to the left instead of they normally would be going up and to the right so this is a reverse foil psa 8 mother grizzly manga rai ron again there was an 8 and a 9 giant rat and shining angel that one got really rough grade as a 6 that that'll probably end for like uh five bucks or something in the auction but that's okay hopefully it finds a good home somebody will appreciate it we got maybe two more stacks to go. Here's a, another, this is the last Barrel Dragon of the auction. This one only got a seven. A little bit of a rough grade there, but again, a nice budget card for somebody. Here's a, again, EXR starter box. So this is 2000. This is older than any TCG Yu-Gi-Oh card. And OCG got the beautiful, uh, I believe it's Prismatic Secret Rare. Beautiful card, really cool. Again, same set, Judge Man Super Rare. Tune Summon Skull. This one's beautiful. Look at this card. This is uh, 2001. So, I mean, again, LOB was printed in 2002. This is older than any TCG card. This is, uh, I believe it's Prismatic Secret Rare, unless Japan calls it something else. But Tune Dark Magician Girl, just a, a really cool card. Really cool. That's one of my favorites of the entire auction, actually. And uh, Lord of D. Tune table of contents, super rare. They got they got the super rare right away. We had to deal with uh, commons, and I think we had it in champion pack or something. Soul exchange. There's a couple of ghost rares, Japanese ghost rares, harpy's feather duster, and Raigeki. Pretty cool uh, cards that we did not get in ghost rare. Left Leg of the Forbidden One, this is the 25th Anniversary LOB, Chocolate Magician Girl, that's Lost Art, uh, Exodia the Forbidden One, the TN23 promo, uh, Wing Dragon Raw, this is a PSA 10, and it's the Italian Air, so you can see it's got a, uh, this text is uh, supposed to be divine, but it's actually in Italian, so, pretty cool 25th Anniversary. Alright, we got uh, one last pile to go, then we're done. So, Blue Eyes White Dragon, LOB 25th, PSA 9. This is a really strong 9. Thought it had a good shot at a 10, but I'll take a 9. Oops. Dark Magician, again, LOB 25th, PSA 9. This is the Italian Air attribute again on the Dark Magician this time. And then uh, a regular non Air Dark Magician from TN 23. PSA 10 Genzo from 25th Anniversary, really cool, big fan of Genzo, big fan of Machines, really nice card. And then we did get the PSA 10 on the Legend of Blue Eyes Dark Magician, uh, 25th Anniversary, so that was a nice one. Here's a PSA 9 Blue Eyes White Dragon Ghost Rare, really clean, like one foil scratch there, maybe a print line there, but uh, really clean surface on the uh, Ghost Rare Blue Eyes. And a Ghost Rare Sphere Mode as well, from Ghost from the Past 2. Uh, some Speed Duel, PSA 10, Red Eyes Black Dragon, PSA 10, Dark Magician Girl. 
uh, Lost Art PSA 10 Gemini Elf. Again, back to Speed Duel, Sly for the Sky Dragon. Dark Magician, these have all been 10s. And uh, then one of the, that's probably the, yeah, we'll look at the Arcana Speed Duel, Dark Magician. And then for the last card of the auction, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End, Collector Rare, PSA 10. And uh, there is one other card not in the auction. It's actually at a different location. I'm going to go pick it up later today. Uh, I store some cards at a, at a different location just to be safe, but it's uh, an LOB First Ed PSA 10 um, Spanish Blue Eyes. So it is the original 2002 LOB First Ed, but it is Spanish, um, but still a very valuable card. One of the holy grails of the hobby, just in Spanish. So hopefully a Spanish collector can find it or something. So uh, yeah, that is the auction. Uh, I believe it's about 103 cards. Ends later today, probably about 10 hours from when I post this video. Um, a lot of cards are still under $5, so hopefully you guys can check it out if you're interested. And if you see this video too late, just uh, I just figured I'd still share this video with you guys, share all these cool cards with you guys, uh, even though you might not get a chance to bid on them. Still, I thought it was worth uh, capturing the moment. I'll try and do better in the future, try and get the, the video posted more ahead of time so you guys actually have time to bid. But uh, it's just been a really busy week, and uh, I still thought it was worth sharing with you guys. So... Um, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for the video. Uh, I appreciate anybody who watches this. I know it's been a while since I posted. Uh, I do have another video coming up soon that I actually have already recorded. Uh, so hopefully you guys can enjoy that. And uh, yeah, let me know your favorite cards from this, uh, this eBay auction down in the comments. Um, and uh, let me know if anybody watches this and wins something, definitely let me know. I really appreciate that. Even if you just bid on one of the cheap $5 cards, it means a lot to me. It helps out a lot. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. So I'll try and post some more videos soon. I'll probably have another eBay auction next month. And uh, if anybody needs help selling any cards, whether they're graded or ungraded, I do offer consignment. I can sell the cards for you. You'll get paid after they sell. Um, and I do raw consignment plus as well. So if you need to get cards PSA graded, I can send them to PSA and then sell them for you. So a lot of options. Um, I'm doing a, a $20,000 Pokemon consignment right now. Really excited about that. I might post a video about that as well. So let me know if you want to see that. And uh, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.